Hello and welcome to this, well, it's a fantasy drawing tutorial. It's about an eye, but I want to uh, well, create a kind of a landscape out of it. And that is very much fun to do. I'm using a, a light gray pastel paper. And uh, what I do first is I watch carefully for the bow of the upper eyelid and then immediately the under eyelid. Now the upper eyelid is uh, rounded much more than the uh, lower eyelid and from the lower eyelid the waterfall will pour down. Now this is the upper eyelid and as you can see it has two lines so uh, the upper eyelid have, has uh, some kind of a thickness and I uh, always draw that in. And then I watch for the oval of the iris and where the highlight is going to be. And because I'm drawing on a uh, light grey pastel paper, the white pastel pencil will pop out very easily. The highlight is in front of the pupil and what I do next is uh, I watch carefully for the direction in which the eyelashes are growing. And if you watch carefully then you can see that on the left side the eyelashes turn to the left and on the right side the eyelashes turn to the right. What we can also see are the tiny muscles on the outer edge of the iris. Those tiny muscles, um, well, make sure that the pupil can be opened wide and get smaller. If you want to see the whole process in real time, you can find me on my Patreon page. Or maybe you just want to support me there. But there are hundreds of beautiful tutorials on my Patreon page. Now uh, for um, uh, the eyebrows, the hairs also grow in some kind of a direction. So I also keep notice of how the hairs of the uh, eyebrows are situated on the flesh. I always start with a light pressure and um, as my drawing continues I'm going to apply a little bit more pressure. Now from the eyelashes I want to create trees because I want to, um, well, change the eye into some kind of a fantasy landscape and the trees come out of the eyelashes which have uh, a massive uh, layer of mascara so I can easily uh, draw some uh, branches out of them. As if it is a, a hill, kind of a hill with the grasses and the trees coming out of that hill and um, yeah well what I do keep in mind is the direction of the eyelashes so how they are growing. Now for the inner eye there's also a lot of eyeliner beautifully black so the lady uh, on the left which is my model, uh, is wearing a, a thick layer of makeup and I can really use that for the dark edges for this uh, particular landscape. This is my blender stick and with the blender stick you can easily uh, push in the pigments of the charcoal pencil. And uh, I want to keep this drawing simple. So I'm 
only using a white pastel pencil, as you can see here, for the highlight on the iris and for the white in the eye. And of course, for uh, the waterfall, which will pour down from the lower eyelid and uh, a little bit for the sky later on. But the charcoal pencil and the white pastel pencil are like brother and sister and they work together quite okay and you can easily blend them together to create a nice uh, eye white. And because my paper is, uh, is in a grey tone, the white of the pastel will immediately, immediately pop out very easily. As you can see, on the uh, iris itself, there's a dark shadow casted by the upper eyelid upon the iris. So I make sure I get that shadow in there to create a, a nice 3D feel. But also on the white of the eye, there is a casted shadow. So do not make the, uh, the white of the eye all white. Now this is where my, um, where my waterfall fall is going to be. And I'm putting a thin layer of charcoal underneath the eye so that I can uh, pop in the white of the white pastel and make it look like there's a waterfall going on and then uh, it drops down into a river or a lake or something. So I'm trying to make sure that the, uh, the water really pours over the lower eyelid. So once the, the water drops down it hits the surface of the water and then you get some uh, of that steam uh, popping up and maybe some, some uh, water drops uh, splashing back. So in that way I can easily uh, create the feel of water falling down and, and smashing up again. And I put a little bit of the charcoal in between the streams of water and then uh, blend them in with the blender stick so then you get the feel of uh, the water flow and a little bit of shadow just behind the uh, streams of water. Popping in a little extra eyeliner. So as my drawing continues I dare to go darker and darker and what I also want to do is uh, pop in some uh, nice clouds way high up in the sky so that um, uh, you get the feel of a landscape and for uh, the clouds I'm simply using the white pastel pencil again to create just an edge of, uh, of a cloud. And this is my shadow uh, inside the wrinkle of the upper eyelid. And I also blend this in so that I get a nice feel of skin without uh, seeing the grain of the paper. So softly uh, brush the pigments into your paper to get that soft tone. The blender stick is ideal for this because uh, you can also blend with the tips of your fingers of course, but they are uh, too, too big for the fine edges. So for the fine edges I, als uh, I always use uh, the blender stick. Now here are the tree trunks 
and of course I also uh, added some branches and what I can do next is add some birds in the sky and the birds fly up from the branches uh, uh, going up in the air and I always try to make some birds move a little bit to the right, some birds move a little bit to the left uh, so that they all have a different uh, uh, pose in the, in the sky uh, or maybe the wings down, uh, the wings up and, and that way you get that natural feel of birds um, flying up from the branches and of course what you can always do is uh, have one bird sitting on a branch just uh, watching watching away or watching towards the eye uh, whatever you want it's a fantasy landscape so you can um, well play with the birds all you want and I'm adding a little bit extra uh, rich mascara on uh, on the eyelashes and a few branches I um, well, I make them extra dark to get some dramatic feel going. A little bit of extra shadow underneath the uh, lower eyelid so that the streams of water for the waterfall uh, really, uh, well, they seem to uh, pop in front of the lower eyelid. So that's just... Uh, a nice feel and also the little shadow underneath the upper eyelid. Keep it as soft as possible, uh, a nice flow and I also uh, well, push the pigments in into the, uh, the eyebrow itself and uh, well what else can I do? Now and then I just watch. I will put in an extra tiny layer of white here, way up high. And uh, I get the feel that, well, this is uh, for the lower eyelid, a little bit extra water here, so that you have a feel of a flow of water. And uh, it's nice to see that uh, the water wants to drop down while the sky is, is and the birds want to go upwards. So this is my study. Hope you enjoyed it and give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to follow the whole process, of course, you can find me on my Patreon page for the real time tutorials. So. Thank you for watching and take care.